Harmony, when are you coming back? You're already eight months pregnant. We're all ready for you. I want you to come back home soon. Thanks, Mom. I'll be home this weekend. But are you sure you want me to go home? Isn't it too much trouble? Huh? What are you talking about? This is your house too, you know? Yes, but... Your house isn't very big. It doesn't have many rooms. I'm thinking of going back to my husband's parents' house. No, you can't. If you go back to your parents-in-law's house, it'll be too stressful. No, not really. I've already made room for you and the baby. Feel free to come home. Okay. By the way, how is Bella? Oh, she's just fine. It's just... What? I don't know why you two are so different, even though you're sisters. What do you mean? No, nothing. Anyway, I'll be waiting for you to come home. Thank you. I'm so grateful to you. What? You know, we are mother and daughter, but we're not really blood-related. But you raised Bella and me as if we were your own daughters. Unfortunately, Dad passed away a few years ago, but you let us stay there. And when it came time for me to have a baby, you let me come back home. I married your father and suddenly became the mother of two daughters. To be honest, it was hard at first. But you're such a talented and beautiful girl, and I'm so proud of you. I'm sure your newborn baby will be smart and cute, just like you. Don't put so much pressure on me. Well, I'll see you this weekend. I'll have my husband drop me off after work, so I might not get there until late at night. Okay, I'll be looking forward to it. Bella? You lazy girl! You haven't finished cleaning the house. The laundry hasn't been taken in. Where are you wandering around at this hour? Come home and finish your chores. No, I'm not wandering around. I'm working. What do you mean? Work? Don't lie to me. I explained all of this to you before. It's busy at the office around this time of year. I'm going to be coming home late for a while. Is that right? But I need you to clean the house. Harmony's coming home this weekend. Oh, that's right. She's going to have the baby soon, isn't she? But you don't have to be in such a rush. I'll have it all cleaned up by the time she comes home. Leave work and come home right now. Huh? You're always saying work, work, work and leaving the house all the time. You don't make much money, but you're so arrogant. If you have time to waste working overtime, I wish you'd come home and finish the housework. Not being at home? But there isn't any place for me to be there. What? What are you talking about? You have your own room. Well, it's mine, but... You know, you're in no position to complain to me. You and I are not blood-related. I brought you up this far. I appreciate that, but... But when I remarried your father, I was thinking of keeping Harmony and putting you up for adoption. But you sisters seemed to be so close, and I felt bad about separating you. So I had no choice but to raise you as well. In a nutshell, you're not the one who's supposed to be here. You should be aware of that. If that's the case, then I can leave right away. No, you can't. Why is that? If you leave, there will be no one to take care of Harmony while she's pregnant. What are you saying? You want me to stay home or you want me to leave? Well, to be honest, it's a pain in the neck but I'll let you stay. You're a failure who's been living at home all your life. There's no way you'll be able to survive out there. Unlike Harmony, you're too ugly to ever get married. All you have to do is shut up 
Listen to me and take care of Harmony. Yes, okay, I understand. Mom? Actually, we just left. My husband got home later than expected. I'm sorry, but we're going to be late. It's almost a two-hour drive from here. We'll probably get there around 10 o'clock tonight. That's okay. I'll probably go to bed first. You have a duplicate key to my place, so you can get in, right? Yeah. Bella will still be up. You can have her help you carry your stuff. Okay. Bella, I just arrived at the house. Oh, sis, welcome home. Welcome home? Where are you? I can't find you in the house. I'm in the backyard. Backyard? Mother told me to stay up and wait for you until you got home. I've been so busy at work lately, I'm exhausted. I fell asleep. I'm sorry, I didn't notice you guys came home. What do you mean, fell asleep? Where did you sleep? In the dog kennel. Huh? Don't you remember? When we were kids, Dad had a big dog. Well, that was over 20 years ago. The kennel we used then? It's my room now. No, 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 you're kidding. I'm not kidding. I sleep in the dog kennel every night. Wait a minute. Why do you sleep in the dog kennel every night? Are you crazy? Well, normally, people don't live in kennels, but Mom wants me to live here. Mom? Yeah, because the house is too small. She said I'm in the way. It may be small, but it's just her and you living there right now. That's right. I think it's big enough for just two adults. But Mother doesn't like me living under the same roof. What the hell is that? When I was at home, we all got along as a family. Since when do you have to live in the dog kennel? Since you got married and moved out. Mom was always nice to me in front of you. But the truth is, she always hated me. Is that true? I didn't know. But don't worry. Even though it's a dog kennel, it's made for big dogs, so it has enough living space. Mom doesn't realize it, but the inside has been well DIY'd, and it's a fairly comfortable space. Well, it's a little hard in the summer. I have an air conditioner. It's more than 20 years old, and it doesn't get very cool. I wish I could get a contractor to come over when Mom isn't around. No, no, no. There's no way you can be living in the dog kennel. Bella, Mom's been treating you badly all this time. I'm so sorry I didn't see it. Sis? I want to hear more about it. I'm going over there now. You came home last night while I was sleeping. Good morning, Mother. Bella helped me with my luggage. Oh, I see. But where are you now? I'm out running some errands. Did you eat breakfast? Bella made it. That's good. Mother, Bella told me. Bella does almost all the housework. That's right. I let that worthless girl live here. She should at least do the housework. By saying you let her live there, you mean she lives in the dog kennel, right? Yes. If you ask me, I think it's pretty kind of me. I'm giving that worthless girl who even isn't really my daughter her own private room. Are you serious? What? Did I say something strange? Even though you won't let her sleep in the house, Bella is in charge of cleaning, laundry, and cooking meals every day, right? That's right. And she's going to take care of you. She'll take care of everything. You can relax when you are here. And have a healthy baby. 
Of course, you can stay after the baby is born. You know what? Bella and I are sisters. Isn't it strange that you treat us so differently? I don't think so. You're so talented and Bella such a failure. I think it's only natural to make a distinction. You say she's a failure? Bella graduated from university and got a job. But unlike you who works for a famous company, Bella works for a small local company. Lately, she's been working late, saying she's busy with work. She doesn't make that much money. I wish she'd stop appealing to the fact that she's working so hard when she doesn't even make anything. Bella is really working hard. I wonder about that. When I married your father, I should have left Bella at the relative's house. Just looking at her face really irritates me. Unlike you, she's never been good at studying or sports. She's not good at anything. And she's ugly on top of it all. I bet she plans to stay single and stay at home for the rest of her life. That's a terrible thing to say about your own daughter. I don't consider her my real daughter. I think you're going to regret this someday. What? I'll be home by the evening. Bella, is this a good time? Yeah, it's fine. I'm on my lunch break. Wow, working on Saturday. I'm usually off, but it's really busy right now. Bella, are you sure you want to continue with your life as it is now? Huh? I was just texting with mom. She seems to be treating you like the handyman. I'm used to it. Don't worry about it. It's not good. You need to care about yourself more. Besides, you recently got a promotion and a higher salary, didn't you? Yes, I did. I haven't told mom about it. It's a good thing you didn't. She thinks you don't make much now. She's just being a jerk about it and, well, it's bad enough as it is. There are people around here that know you and you never know where she might find out. If she finds out you're making money, She'll definitely try to get it. Oh my goodness. I don't like that. Right? Do you now see that you can't just take this lying down? Yeah. I'm so used to sleeping in a dog kennel and having to do all the housework. I've become used to it. I'm going to seriously think about what I need to do. Try to figure it out by the time I have the baby. I'll do anything to help you out. Okay, I get it. Thanks, sis. Sis, congratulations on giving birth to your baby. Thank you, Bella. Labor took quite a while. Yes, it did. I didn't realize how hard it would be to have one child. I hear it's a healthy girl. Yes, that's right. She looks more like him than me. Mom looked a little disappointed when she came to visit me. I'm sure she'll be cute no matter who she looks like. So, about the other thing? Did you come to a decision? I'm leaving with you. Understood. Okay, I'm going to plan what we're going to do from here. I'll call you later. Okay. Hi, Mom. Harmony is leaving the hospital this Friday. I just stopped by the hospital, and she told me to tell you. Oh, okay. Then I'll pick her up. I'm so excited. Soon we'll have a cute little grandchild in the house, huh? Oh, and just so you know, her husband's parents will be there the day before, on Thursday. So, they don't want you to come to the hospital. Why? They only allow one visit per day, so as not to disturb the other patients in the room. So, just stay away for Harmony's sake. Well then, I guess it just can't be helped. I really wanted to see my granddaughter every day. Since we'll be living together anyway, I can put up with it for one day. Well then, you go home and get dinner ready. And take care of the cleaning too. 
You're going to welcome a newborn baby, so make sure it's spotless. Yes, okay, I know. Hey, Bella. Answer the phone. What's wrong? I'm busy. Harmony and my granddaughter are not here. And? I just came to pick them up at the hospital, and they told me that she left yesterday. I tried to call Harmony, but she's not answering. Hey, what's going on? I'm sure you told me that she would be discharged today, on Friday. Oh, yeah, her discharge day? Actually, it was yesterday. Huh? I'm sorry, I lied. Just one minute. Why did you lie to me like that? I mean, where did Harmony and my granddaughter go? They went home. Huh? Why? She was supposed to stay with us for two months after the birth. I was going to take care of my grandchild. I've only been able to hold her once. She doesn't want to raise her precious child with you around. That's what she said. What do you mean? She found out I sleep in the dog kennel. She was furious. She told her husband. He said I should get away from such an insane mother. Oh no. She told me that I shouldn't continue like this. I thought about it and made the decision. I have escaped you. What? Did you just say escaped? Don't you have work today? I took a paid holiday today. While you were on your way to the hospital, I took all the stuff out of the dog kennel. Wait a minute. I'm not going to allow you to just leave. Bella. Harmony, please pick up the phone. Oh, Mom. Oh, thank goodness. You didn't block me. What have you two sisters done to me? Lying to me and running away from home? Now come back with my granddaughter. I'm sure Bella told you. I've decided to stay home after the birth. What are you talking about? You still need to rest. If you go back home, you'll have to take care of the house by yourself. You'll never be able to take care of the baby. Don't worry. I can do the housework and take care of the baby. My husband, father-in-law, and mother-in-law will help me. But, um... Hey, Harmony. I was looking forward to taking care of you and the grandchild. But to disappear without telling me is just too much. Bella was the one who was going to take care of me, not you, right? What? Bella has a full-time job. On top of that, she has to do all the housework at home. I don't want to add to her burden. And now Bella is gone too. Well, we ran away together. I'll never forgive Bella. You're married with kids, but Bella is obligated to take care of me. Bella has provided for you enough. Huh? After I got married and left, Bella paid the utilities and rent for your house. What? Utilities? Rent? You didn't know? Who do you think was paying them? The utilities and the rent? I had them automatically deducted from my account, so I had no idea who was paying them. I'm stunned. By the way, the money for food also came out of Bella's pocket when she went shopping. Well, that means she was paying almost all of the food expenses. What? No way! So, it's like you have no concept of what necessary living expenses are. But... That worthless little girl doesn't make any money. There's no way she could pay both rent and living expenses. Bella doesn't have a low salary. What? Now that she's safely away from you, I'll tell you. Bella got a promotion and is now a section chief. A section chief? She's in her 20s. She's better than you think. 
She's very talented and many people depend on her. I didn't know. She became a section chief and she is very busy at work. On top of that, she's been taking care of the house and taking care of you. And then you made her sleep in the dog kennel. That's, um, I thought she was a failure. Let's say she wasn't that great. But kicking your own daughter out of the house and making her live in a dog kennel? It's not a human thing to do. Ugh. Harmony, where is Bella now? Why do you want to know? I need her to come back. Then I won't tell you. Oh no, I'll apologize to Bella. You treated her so badly, it's too late to apologize now. From now on, Bella will live her own life. Forget about us and take care of yourself. What? Who's us? Don't tell me you're abandoning me too. Hey, don't leave me alone. My stepmother has taken good care of me since I was a child. I had no idea that my sister was the only one who had been mistreated that way. My sister had a gentle nature. She seemed to have listened to her stepmother's words in good spirits, no matter how badly she was treated. But she seemed to have made up her mind to leave her parents' house after my return home. I am very happy for her. She's now living in an apartment far away from her parents' house and is working hard at her job. I hope that my sister will be happy for the long term. I want her to be happy for sure. On the other hand, my mother, who was left at home, was unable to pay the rent after my sister left. She returned to her hometown in tears. She's now managing to make a living by working part-time at the factory, introduced to her by a relative. My mother, who has lived her whole life thinking only of being supported, seems to be completely incapable of working. Rumor has it that she's yelled at every day by an employee young enough to be her daughter. Although I intend to take care of my mother sooner or later, I would like her to work hard at the factory for a while longer and fix her mean-spirited personality. <laughs>